Last Tuesday night at the town board meeting, a presentation was made by Muller Bolin Associates Incorporated about bringing a hydroponic blueberry agriculture project to the United States. Essentially, it's a project that we have developed using technology that was developed in South Africa. And we are trying to uh, develop it and bring it to demonstration projects here. What is the project? The technology that's been developed is a very uh, technologically advanced hydroponics system, which essentially means, uh, in layman's terms, uh, it uses very little resource, very little water to give the plants exactly what they need to grow. A uh, project that we were hoping to discuss, of course, is uh, a small uh, five to 10 acre project, uh, demonstration project would be one of two in the United States where blueberries would be grown. Uh, these crops are then able to be sold at value to the blueberries that are made through this process are certified USDA organic. They also showed a video at the meeting as well that went over the company's South African blueberry farm. Well, Amato berries is a sort of the culmination of a 15 year dream to do a really big blueberry project in South Africa, make a huge difference and employ people who are unemployed, and just make a significant social and economic impact. According to the video, many jobs have been made in South Africa with this project. Some of the environmental benefits? You're not wasting water, you're not doing massive spreads. It's uh, environmentally conscious as well as it conserves resources. What would happen if this was brought here to Pahrump? Uh, it will start as a small demonstration project. Uh, could it easily be expanded into a larger operation uh, and make uh, Pahrump, Nevada a blueberry capital in the United States, um, which is something that would be unheard of without this kind of technology. According to Muller Bolin Associates, the project will not need any town money to start up. It is estimated it would bring 15 jobs for every acre and a half used. No action was taken by the board because it was simply just a presentation. This is Ian B. Clark reporting for News 46.